Welcome back to Crystal Clear. I'm Ostrich Vox, and we have another update on the future of Steven Universe. Recently, a YouTube channel, Talk Nerdy With Us, interviewed Zach Callison at AwesomeCon 2019, where he revealed a little tidbit about Steven Universe's future. Now, we're gonna go through just a little bit about this interview and see how it could connect to the rest of the series, giving us a bigger idea of what's to come. So with that being said, let's roll the clip. But really, like with the movie coming out and, and you know, the things following this arc are the honestly the things that are most important to me about the show, to be honest. Um, without diving too much into it, there's a lot. There's a lot on the horizon that I, I can't really say much about, but it's by far the most important part of the show for me that we've done so far, um, as far as personal need goes. Um, and the the arcs of my life and Steven's life have uh, that they've they become one at this point. Um, in, in so many ways, and it, it's, it's, I can't even like, um, I can't even really tell the story until about two years from now, I think, once this is all, you know. Actually done. In the books, yeah. Um, there's something really special going on right now, um, and it, uh, it caught me by surprise, and, uh, yeah, I, I really, I, I shouldn't be running my mouth about this, but yeah. It's, yeah. Something very special and personal to me regarding the show. So, yeah. All right, so Zach describes what follows the movie as the most important part of the show, and that his and Steven's arcs have become one, which is very telling. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, Zach Callison has had a struggle with mental health, and he does mention in this interview that he's getting better. There will be a link in the description to the full interview. You guys should definitely check it out. Go support smaller channels and give some love to Zach. I'm very happy to hear he's doing better. Now, I'm not interested in capitalizing on someone's mental health, so my speculation here will be light. I'm not trying to dig into Zack's entire life story. He's keeping a low profile, and he's trying to recover, so although he is on a social media break, please just give him the privacy he needs. If you go to a con and see him, yeah, definitely get permission to give him a hug and just give him support. With all that said, I think the core message in the next chapter of Steven Universe will focus on something I deal with in my life. That a lot of people who struggle with mental health may deal with at some point. Everything being right and you're still not happy. There's no major issues present. You're having a grand old time, you're living your life, yet for one reason or another, you can't say you're 100% happy. Something's eating at you and you're not sure why. I think it would be heavy, but important for the series to tackle that. Despite healing the corrupted gems, being on good terms with the diamonds, knowing who he is completely, and more or less bringing upon a picture-perfect happy ending, Steven will find that he's not truly happy. He has good days, he has good company, but for some reason, when he goes to sleep at night, there's a bit of sadness. We could see Steven go on a different kind of journey to figure himself out, figure out what he wants to do with his future now that all the major conflicts in his life are pretty much solved. Maybe we'll see Steven tackle the idea of becoming an adult. These are the kind of things I would think of for someone who could be in Zack's position to say, yeah, yeah, this is the most important part of the show. Steven Universe has always been about mental health, but now they have a chance to tell a story that we don't really get to see that often. What happens after the initial happy ending? When that ending in question isn't all sunshine and rainbows? What happens when you accomplish that goal you were setting out since day one? How different does the world around you change? Especially for someone like Steven. At this point in the series, so many people look up to him. He, in many ways, is kind of a role model. What happens when a public figure like that doesn't feel 100% when they still have to put on a brave face every day? Again, it's something I struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. So if they did go this route, I know it would be impacting more than just me. And as Zach said in his interview, it would be touching millions of people. And it would just continue to cement how important Steve Universe is to many people. Now, this isn't to say the show wouldn't have a new antagonist. I'm sure it would. One that could push Steven closer and closer to his goal. Now, I'm not really sure how or why, as we don't really have much to go off of, but I'm thrilled to see what they're going to do with it. Now, before we close out this video, once again, I just want to give my best wishes to Zach. I hope he's doing well and that he continues to get better. And that goes for anyone else watching this right now. If you're going through a hard time, regardless of the situation, I'm rooting for you. 
I believe in you. I know you can get past it. Please hang in there and stay strong. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you watching this. And that may feel insignificant in the long run. After all, it's just a YouTube channel. But you watching this right now, you are a part of the reason of how a handful of young adults were able to make a career out of a YouTube channel. And that's pretty awesome that you were able to do that. You have the potential to change someone's life each and every day. I just don't want you to forget that. You mean something. But this is the part where I turn the conversation over to you guys. What do you think? What could Steven's arc in season 6 be? What could they explore that they haven't already? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at RoundTableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at AustrinVox. We're also on Instagram. Help the Roundtable grow by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please sort of like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Austric Vox, out.